Hey, what's up guys? I'm Prey Torian and welcome back to Hearts Farm 4, the Man the Guns expansion as we are playing with the United States. Alright guys, so one of the first things I would like to do in this episode is we need to go ahead and change up our... I've been mentioning, saying that we're going to do this and I never did. Uh, we need to change up the composition here for these. Uh, I would like to have it like this. This is how I want all of our carriers to be. Uh, we can always individualize each carrier if we want to. Uh, in the future, if we need, you know, if we need more close air support or something uh, in that particular case, we'll, we'll change it then for that, that individual carrier. I like that one. Uh, it gives us some dive bombers. Dive bombers do have some advantages over naval bombers when it comes to uh, attacking ships. Uh, overall, naval bombers are still superior. But most importantly, we could use the, the close air support to support our, our troops. Uh, so so that's how we'll do that. I've already changed the designs for all of the all of the ships as well. Uh, so I did that off camera so y'all didn't have to watch. You are welcome. Uh, so yeah, let's go and get started. Let's start flying. I'm really hoping for a civil war to kick off this episode. I guess we'll see if it does or not. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't need to be like a regular length episode. I can't keep doing these, the longer episodes. So... So if it does kick off, it might be towards the end, uh, which would then result in a massive cliffhanger, uh, which would be unfortunate. Uh, we have communist raids we can do, but we don't want to do that. Because communism support is getting higher and higher. We're currently at 12% right now. It's so looking good. I want to say that that, yep, that'll unlock the desegregate the armed forces, which will give us more uh, recruitable population. Oh, man, I feel like, should we start building troops, man? I don't even know because I'm, I'm worried about the civil war uh we do have a lot of equipment stockpiled um but yeah once again i don't i think i don't know if it's just gonna the civil war is just gonna get rid of all of our divisions uh as it does with the german one and gives you like a new setup or the spain one does that as well so it makes me think that that's exactly what's gonna happen uh representative speaks passionately okay we got some more uh so representatives liking us which is good uh, we do need to get tactical bombers frankly we need a lot of shit guys we need a ton of stuff why did we not research tactical bombers Ah, all those research slots. I never got the heavy, heavy planes. I'm an idiot. Well, we'll do that once we have an open slot uh, that's not being used for 1938 tech. All right, so we knocked out the first naval doctrine, but now it is time to get 38 techs. Uh, and once again, I want to get the radar. Uh, so we'll get that first. Uh, we can start building radar once we get some open, uh, open civilian factories. Uh, we'll probably build them over here in the Pacific, I imagine. Uh, we would also want to get some on the East Coast, since remember that the British are going to be an enemy. Uh, so their fleets are going to be operating over here. Uh, and China just declared war on Communist China. So China's all fighting amongst itself. Japan's not really, doesn't really care all that much. And they're very much interested in fighting uh, the Russians. Uh, and it looks like the Spanish Civil War has ended. The Nationalists have won just as we wanted. Oh, whoa. Stuff is happening. All right, um, so end of Spanish Civil War. We got the Union Representation Act, and that did result in a Silver Legion protest. Led and organized by the Silver Legion of America, a number of centrist and right-wing organizations today marched through the Capitol in one of the largest demonstrations Washington has seen so far. Other gatherings have been reported all across the country. The march ended in front of the Capitol where the crowd demanded that communists and Congress assembled were delivered to them to stand trial before a people's grand jury for treason against the United States. Privately, some members of the administration share some of the protesters' more legitimate concerns about the rule of law and adherence to the constitutional checks and balances. Others, however, suggest a hard line against them. With more demonstrations planned for the coming weeks, we must choose quickly. So, we can say we must avoid escalating the situation. That will uh, result in a loss of stability. We can say we must not bow to the mob. And this would result in us losing political power. Uh, we go closer to the Civil War and... Looks like more senators and representatives go in opposition. Yeah, I don't know why you would go for this one. I have a feeling like this is gonna... Like, obviously, this looks like the most negative one. You lose political power. You lose, uh, you know, representation uh, in, the, in the Congress. People don't like you as much. And you get an event that protests escalate into violence. So it's like, oh, naturally, you should want to go... Uh, not go that way. Yeah, I, I'm actually... <sighs> I'm just going to go with this this one, guys. <laughs> I don't know if that's the best choice. Uh, but we're going to do it. Because uh, it just looks like the smarter one. But I know that there's some hidden hidden thing here that I, I don't know about. And, and I'm going to get screwed. I know that I don't know is what I'm saying. So, uh, we can go ahead and, and reduce. Yeah, that one's really good. You know what? I want to get the, the, the population, recruitable population. But at the same time, like I said, I don't know if I should build anything because I don't. I, I have a feeling like all our divisions are going to get rid, and they're going to get rid of all our divisions, and it's going to be a waste. Uh, so, 
we should probably go for one of these ones. Uh, we can also get the, the Fair uh, Labor Standards Act, but, but yeah, we don't want to go down that route because we can do it here. Uh, so, old pension, the Old Age Pension Act increases stability, more opposition. Let's do let's do this one. Let's modify the Great Depression from uh, slow recovery to slow economic growth. I think that would be super useful. Uh, also, we do not require as many factories going to consumer goods, so that's good as well. Uh, we do get opposition to it though. Uh, but most importantly, yeah, we modify that nasty uh, Great Depression modifier that we have. But I think we've already modified it a little bit. Yeah, we're in slow recovery right now, uh, so it's a little bit better. Uh, what do we have here? Citizens Avail reshuffle Congress. Oh yeah, that's right, because we we can do whatever we want now, right? Yeah, if we lose, we can lose stability for it though. But ensures a comfortable majority in Congress. Uh, <laughs> That's that one thing that we got. We already have a comfortable majority, despite opposition. Yeah, we're doing fantastic here, so let's just not be notified of that. Uh, because, yeah, there's there's no reason to, to take it right now. Lose stability. Uh, we'll only take it if we feel the need to. If uh, we're trying to get, like, a national focus or something we can't get. Uh, because we just don't have the support needed. I don't know. Uh, so taking a look at the fleet, guys, I have rearranged once again. Rearranged stuff off camera. Make things a little bit clearer, a little bit easier to deal with for right now until we start building out fleets and, and task force and all that kind of good stuff. And once again, uh, we're not looking to go to war with anybody yet. Hopefully nobody's looking to go to war with us because we are not prepared. We do have some sub, uh, submarines that are finished up. Uh, so let's go ahead and separate these. I also have, I have submarine fleets, guys. Look at that sexy thing. Uh, so let's go ahead and have those guys merge with them. Uh, and then we've got our paratroopers. Excellent. So, uh, let's take a look. Whoa. Don't want to click on that. Uh, do we want to go ahead and start getting the 1938 infantry techs to help us out? Yeah, maybe. I think that would probably be a good idea. Uh, just kind of swinging through. I don't think there's anything else we want. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Proven infantry equipment that help us out in the Civil War if that breaks out. Don't really know how that's going to develop, though, guys, so we'll just have to see. Uh, continue training those, those fleets. I did also get the aircraft carrier that was out there training. I did change uh, their uh, composition for their air wings up. Uh, so firefighting drills. Awesome. So that was right there. Well, do we want to... You know what? Let's just keep on doing infantry text. That's going to be the most helpful for us uh, when the Civil War breaks out. Though, I don't know. I never know how the Civil War works when it comes to uh, the technology. Do they just take your technology tree? It almost thinks it almost makes me think that they, that's exactly what would happen, is they take your tree, so it's not actually a benefit to you. Uh, so we did knock the special forces out. Excellent. Um, we won't get mountain troops yet. Can't even build them any damn ways. Uh, so let's get something that we can build, uh, or something we can do, or be helpful to us. Uh, probably more naval stuff, honestly. Yeah, I think that'd probably be the best best thing for us to get right now. Oh no no, I'm an idiot. I, I said see. Told you guys, I like instantly forget. Uh, we want to get tactical bombers. Eventually, we're going to get strategic bombers and heavy fighters. We don't have the, the industry to build them, um, but I do want to go ahead and research the tactical bombers at the very least because I like tactical bombers, especially as the United States. Uh, and I also like them as the UK. Uh, so, so yeah, I think it would be uh, useful to get that researched at least. And uh, also, I think we are... Just a couple techs away from being able to just completely switch. Oh, you have to get to 35%, never mind. Yeah, I was gonna say, we're just a couple focuses away uh, from being able to switch straight to communism. I don't know how it works with the Civil War on that front, guys. Somebody said that the Civil War just takes so long to get started, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, is there anything else that we might want to get? No, there's there's nothing. Uh, we should keep moving down this branch. We need to get the, we need to get the communism switched to, guys. So, this is war support. This is changing the Great Depression uh, and completely removing the slow economic growth. So that would be obviously quite good. That one does not move you closer to Civil War. This one does. Uh, so yeah, let's do this. Um, is Harry Truman or... No, we have Franklin D. Roosevelt. Uh, more than 10% support for the Communist Party USA. Uh, Harry S. Truman. Oh, one of the following must be true. Got it. I understand now, guys. All right, so uh, we can now modify our government as well. I think we should probably change out of this now because I think we have enough war support. Oh, we're just short, guys. God damn it. 
15%. Wasn't one of these focuses, didn't it increase war support? Yeah, right there. All right, well, let's go this way first, guys. Uh, we won't be able to get that until we get the 35% anyway. Hmm, where are we currently at right now? 21%. Okay, uh, let's let's get that one, and then, then we'll start moving down this way until we get the 35%, I suppose. I know some people are going to ask about these up here. Um, you know, we just talked about this one. Obviously, I don't want to change the civilian economy. I know it's, I know, guys, I know it's a lot better. Um, but I would rather just use the 150 to switch uh, over here with 5% more war support. Uh, and then we don't even get the penalties from the civilian econ economy. So it just makes far more sense uh, to wait. I know, I know, that the penalties are bad, guys. Uh, we can't build military factories because of that. Uh, I mean, we could if we wanted to get the penalty. We might start building those anyway after we get the radar. Uh, so that that's, that's how I feel about that one. Uh, as far as the trade law, I love free trade uh, for the research bonus. Uh, eventually, yeah, we might want to switch, uh, but let's get to the tech tree, guys. Uh, I, I like the, the tech bonus. That's the most important bonus to me uh, out of any bonus is, is tech bonuses. Uh, here, uh, we could change the volunteer only, uh, but we can't because we have the undisturbed, undisturbed isolation. And on top of that, I think we have a national focus that changes as, as well. So uh, might as well use that. Uh, I'm all about maximizing my political power use. Uh, so some people don't agree with it. Some people like it. Um, we're never going to be able to get General, General Motors, I believe. Uh, I want to say that that's restricted to the wartime industry, and we're never going to be able to get that uh, because we'll never have 95% support for Democratic Party again. So might as well get something else on this, uh, like the electronics. However, we're researching two infantry equipment designers, so let's do that. Yeah, that'll just speed those up now. Uh, that's immediately beneficial. All right, uh, so... I'm really hoping uh, the Civil War will will start. It does look like the Mexico we wanted to win, uh, the non-democratic Mexico, uh, they did win non-aligned Mexico, I should say, and they're slightly communist. Uh, that would keep us from having to invade them. Although, I don't know, invade Mexico could be fun too, I suppose. Uh, make them part of the United States. We don't need no wall, because we're one country. Uh, so we got the radar, that's excellent. We're gonna go and build those, like I said, probably with those civilian factories we just uh, knocked out right there. All right, so uh, we've gotten the main 1938 text that I wanted, I want to say. Yeah, I want to say that we did get all the, the main ones. Yep, yes, sir. You know, let's go ahead and get this one, the fire control methods. Increase the attack of our battleships. Sure. Oh, yes, we have civilian factories as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these assigned. Uh, I said I was going to do radar, and I remembered. So let's let's do that. I think the radar should probably be over here for right now. Uh, obviously, definitely need Hawaii. Uh, and then, yeah, we're going to want to get, uh, you know, and let's not do that one, but let's definitely do the radar throughout here. Let's get these. We know we're going to want them. We know we're going to need them. So might as well do it now. Oh, you, you, God damn it. <laughs> uh, I hate when I, I click on the dockyards there. Uh, so let's try not to do that. I guess we do it over here uh, to avoid it. And I want to say there's a couple more. Let's get these building. Uh, any more? that I may have missed. I want to say that's it. At the very least, it's good enough. Do we want to get the one here? Yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's do it. Let's get this one as well. So yeah, we're going to build a bunch of radars uh, over there in the Pacific. We should also, once again, I said this before, but we need to build them on the East Coast as well because, you know, this is this is going to be a problem, guys. Uh, so how is this far as this cover? It's going to cover right there. Let's not build over there. Uh, let's do Florida, though. You know what? Let's not even do the middle for right now because these can't even, they're not even going to help us in the sea. Uh, that might help us a little bit. We'll just do up on these two for right now until we get better radar. Uh, we could do, no, nah, no, those are going to be all that beneficial. Yeah, not really. Yeah, that is not very beneficial, guys. All right, well, that's fine. Uh, this is enough. This is gonna take a while for them to build that anyways. Though radar does kind of build quicker than some of the other stuff. It's uh, still gonna take a little while. Uh, so we have 36 naval dockyards. That is not bad at all. I do wanna start building military factories, even with the penalty, guys. We need to start doing it. Uh, I've been, you know, avoiding it because of the penalty. Uh, but it's taken me a lot longer to, to get that switched out than I was expecting. Uh, the, the war support has just been Good God, and not, and not climbing as quickly as I was hoping it would. We did get the computing machines. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and get encryption now. Uh, but yeah, war support has not increased as quickly as I was hoping it would. 
and yes, nice. Let's go did win, and they're on the verge of going communist. Can we take a look at what they're currently doing here? Oh, they're working on the communist revolution. Yeah, so we're gonna have a communist Mexico. Remember, this they were random. We just set them up to random, and they they have taken our lead. They said, hey, the United States is doing it. Let's do it too. Uh, and we need to find something to get here. Uh, I, I kind of feel like we're just gonna start getting naval techs, man. Uh, I do really want to have a badass navy, if possible. We could also do air doctrines too. Uh, that would probably be beneficial to us. Let's, you know what? Let's get decryption so we can knock it out. Yeah, let's knock out decryption real quick. 103 days. Uh, did we, or I think we're still researching the tactical bombers, aren't we? Uh, Cause yeah, we do need to get those building. 53 days, we're about to knock out another tech. Excellent. Uh, let's do, I almost wanna go ahead and do the mountain troops, guys, just so I, I have all the special forces uh, available to us. Uh, once we do start building divisions, we have 706,000 manpower, but once again, I don't know that I should build units. You know what, let's do a compromise. Uh, because I don't know if if our division's gonna stay. We'd, I would be super salty if, if our divisions are uh, what we have available to us. Uh, for the Civil War, and then I didn't build any, and then, uh, you know, we suck in the Civil War. Uh, it, 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 I don't think it's going to be different than all the other Civil Wars, but it could be. So what we'll do, we'll do a compromise. We won't build a ton, so that if we do lose them, then we don't lose a lot. But if we need to use them, then at the same time, uh, you know, we're obviously in a, a decent situation. That does mean I'm not going to build stuff like armored divisions. Maybe one armored division. Sure, we'll build one. One armored division. That's all, guys. Although I think our armor divisions are kind of garbage. Yeah, armor divisions are garbage and we don't have any experience to change them. Yeah, we'll just we'll just build these infantry divisions and uh, hopefully we don't lose them. Let's do, once again, I'm just trying to do like a compromise. Let's do five, five divisions. That sounds like a compromise, a pretty good compromise, I'd say, where we don't lose too much. Uh, we don't lose, uh, you know, we do lose a lot of manpower, obviously, but I mean, that's like less than 50,000. Uh, so I think that that's a, a good compromise. We could always do like 10, and it would get us to like 100,000 manpower we'd be losing. You know, that's what we'll do. Uh, I think that, that that works, I suppose. Uh, and we got to desegregate segregate the armed forces. Yeah, I, I hate that I, I don't know how, how it works though. Uh, so I, yeah, I just don't want to, you know, fuck ourselves over in the future. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go with the old age pension act because we're trying to increase our war support. This will increase stability, which stability has dropped a little bit. Uh, so that gets up to 76%. I'm sure glad I gave refuge to the German and Italian scientists. I thought we were going to be communist by now and that that was going to be a waste because I didn't know if we lost that. But we have stayed democratic far longer than I expected to. Uh, we are currently at 25%. So hopefully by the time this is over, we might have enough to get... Oh, well, we do want to get the, the war support. We probably should get that before this, honestly. That would probably be wise. <laughs> yeah, that'd be smart. I wonder if you can avoid the Civil War. That'd be interesting. I mean, I didn't really go into this expecting to avoid the Civil War, even with that as a goal, because I kind of wanted to fight it, because why would you not want to do the Second American Civil War? Not in real life, of course, uh, in the game. That <laughs> should make that clear. Uh, somebody's gonna be in the comments like, why would you want a Civil War? I don't want a Civil War, guys. Uh, and let's get, yeah, we, we, are, we are flying through this Tech 3. I almost never <laughs> have this happen. Uh, where I'm in 1938 and there's hardly anything to research, but yeah, the, the uh, research bonus where they, or the, the reduced research cost is definitely, um, I'm feeling the effects here as the United States, not so much as Japan. Japan, it's been a little bit more challenging. Uh, let's get the, I almost want to do this one just because the, the critical hits is, yeah, this can be critical. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I almost want to do that one. Uh, I think that one's pretty, pretty nice and we can use a bit of experience to reduce it. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, oh yes, I forgot I was gonna build some more ships. And we haven't, we haven't messed with the ship designer at all in this one. Uh, so yeah, I think it would make sense to, to go for it. We need to build our tactical bombers. I'll try to remember. Uh, and I wouldn't mind going down one of the, the air doctrines either, but you know what? Let's just keep on getting naval techs, and knocking these out. Uh, we won't spend any more experience because I did just spend a bunch uh, on that other one. Uh, let's do something that increases the attack. Uh, so this one increases the light attack for everybody. So it's not too bad. Uh, this one's only for light cruisers and heavy cruisers. Well, this one's for battleships. We just did a battleship one, but that one didn't have piercing. This one does, interesting. Uh, so let's do, could do torpedoes as well. Uh, you know what, let's do this one. Let's do the light attack so we can destroy all those, uh, you know, the screens a little bit faster. All right, so we'll knock that out. And then we need to design some ships, guys, because uh, we're already in August. 
Uh, we've been flying through the year this episode uh, because I haven't been doing stuff like this. Uh, some of you might be pleased with that so we can get through it quicker. Oh yes, I would have forgot this. Uh, tactical bombers. Let's get these in here. Uh, don't have any, any factories for them, of course, unfortunately. Uh, but it is what it is. Uh, so let's go ahead and get... I didn't want a bunch of carriers building. Um, I'm going to set these to one. I'm going to continue doing this, guys, because you never know. Well, I guess as long as we had the London Naval Treaty, we can't do anything with them. So that's fine. We'll leave it as is. But what we are going to go ahead and do is let's get another specialist ship. Uh, so we have the carriers. We have the battleships. I'm not going to do anything with those. Don't even... I, I assume we will get heavy cruisers eventually. Uh, but not yet. Let's wait. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of heavy cruisers, but with the, the designing system, you can make the heavy cruisers pretty cool. Basically like a battleship, uh, you know, that has battleship uh, type guns. Uh, but, you know, with the, it's a heavy cruiser gun, of course, so it's not quite as powerful, obviously. Uh, but, yeah, it does very considerable uh, heavy attack damage, which is nice. Uh, with all these other things that the, the battleship can't do. So that's kind of cool. I like them. So, yeah, we might mess with them uh, in the future. But not right now. Let's do other stuff. We have a sub-destroyer. Um, maybe we want to do a different type of destroyer. Uh, we also need to do the mine the mine uh, ships as well, uh, but those aren't that hard to design. You, they're pretty cheap to do, but we would want to refit some some of the older ships to that. So that's something to consider as well. Uh, let's do another destroyer, I think, because, uh, yeah, I don't like that we're just building sub-destroyers. Uh, let's do a more support-type destroyer, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, we're going to want to probably duplicate this. That's probably going to be the most efficient way uh, of doing this. And, yes, that's right. We already have the sonar. Yeah, so let's go ahead and duplicate. Uh, and then we're going to do... We are going to allow them to have uh, a little bit of depth charges, of course. Uh, and then, once again, these guys are supposed to be a support. Let me just take a look. Uh, we Having a mine-clearing destroyer uh, would be helpful. Uh, apparently, this does a, a couple things. Um, this actually lets you move through mine. It not just clears them, you know, what you have to assign them to, but if there's a mined area, you can move through it like more efficiently, like faster, since that does result in a penalty if there's a lot of mines to your speed. Uh, and in addition to that, it also, I think, helps you avoid the mines. I'm not entirely sure on that one, though. Uh, or, excuse me, the mine sweeping gear. All right, so these guys are going to be torpedo destroyers. Uh, so let's go ahead and get these, these changed up now. Uh, we're going to launch, put torpedo launchers there. The question is, do we want to completely remove their ability to, to launch depth charges uh, and be able to fight? Um, you know what? I, I feel like that would be the most useful thing to do. Like, we have, uh, you know, anti-sub destroyers. I think that would be the best way to do it, honestly. Let's specialize. Uh, make sure that each one is is the best at what we assign them to. So, yeah, I like that. It'll be 15 our experience. And look at that torpedo attack. That is not too shabby. Uh, because they aren't going to be detecting subs, we could, in fact, just remove this. There's really no reason to even have it, I imagine. Um, yeah, I mean, could they even... They might be able to attack them. You know, I'll leave those in because I'm not entirely sure. Although, wait a minute. That does not increase torpedo attack. All right, I wanted to make sure, but yeah, doesn't increase torpedo attack. This looks pretty good. Uh, oh, we can't get radar now. Oh, snap. All right, yeah, let's put radar on there then. Uh, so we do need to change up the designs to all of our ships, essentially. All right, so that looks good. This is our torpedo destroyer. I like it. Let's go ahead and save it. And we're going to want to get them building immediately. Uh, torpedo destroyers. Hell yeah. Let's put them over here. Uh, we will change up the, you know, the, the dockyards here in a minute. Um, Obviously, the first thing we're going to want to do is change up all of our ships. Yeah, we got a lot of ships that we need to change here. Uh, obviously, we need to let these guys finish up. Although, let's let's first get these changed one thing at a time, my friends. Uh, can we even put anything on the carriers? Probably not, guys. No, you can't put shit on the carriers. We are maxed out on that. All right, well, that's a shame. Um, yeah, we can't put anything on the, the carriers. We could always reduce the secondary to reduce the weight a bit. Yeah, it's irrelevant though, it's not enough. All right, so there's nothing we can do with the carriers right now because of the limits. Battleships, um, yeah, there's nothing we can really do with the battleships either. Let's prioritize the, the ships we're actually, you know, we've got really good ships of. Uh, let's go and get the, the support cruisers changed up. So we're gonna wanna change these. Uh, we're gonna wanna get them to Bs. And this is always hard to do because I got my keys all different so that I can use the WASD keys to move around. Uh, B, of course, it isn't affected by that, but a lot of them, the other ones are. So I gotta always think about it. Like, is this this button changed? Uh, so let's get radar, of course. All right, well, this is the support, so obviously we should probably get sonar, guys. So let's change them up to sonar. Uh, that makes the most sense, I'd say. 
Uh, and let me see if there's anything else that we have available here. Uh, we didn't get, yeah, we didn't get any other guns. Now I'm looking at that. We did get new depth charges, so that makes sense to change that up. Uh, and we can also refit all of our ships to these if we wanted to, um, make them even better. And I think that's it. Yeah, that looks good. That's gonna be 11 our experience. Uh, so let's go ahead and spend that. Uh, and then we'll get them building here in a second. Well, let's do that now. Put them underneath here. Uh, and then we also want to change up the attack light cruisers. We can get the new fire control system. I will. I think I will get the, that on this one. Though, once again, I don't know if it's worth it, man. Yeah, for the reliability drop. Uh, since these guys don't have uh, ability to attack subs, I don't think. I don't think we put depth charges on there. We did not put depth charges on there. So they're just going to get radar. Uh, anything else that we unlocked? Got the radar, fire control system. Uh, but we do have fire control system on here. Yeah, you know what? I don't want to upgrade it, though. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, we didn't get new anti-air. All right, so there's not many adjustments to these. I think the radar is probably worth it changing though. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get that. And we're gonna need to get them building as well. Oh shit, the name got fucked up. You know what, and I meant to change the icons as well. <laughs> oh, you know what, fuck that shit. I'm changing it up now. Uh, I don't care. Uh, let's just go ahead and delete uh, the ones right here. And we might even need to rename them because of that, I think. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if that changes it up <laughs> at all. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to change the support up so they look more support. Uh, this is anti-air. So yeah, we're gonna want to change them to that. Uh, I think that, that would be wise since it shows us that's what they do. Do I need to change it? I don't. All right, well, look at that sexy thing. All right, uh, awesome. I thought I would have to, thought that would cause issues, but it didn't. All right, so let's go and get these guys going. Support light cruisers. Uh, we're gonna put them right underneath current support light cruisers. Uh, we still need to get the attack light cruisers over here as well. So let's go ahead and put these out here, like so. Uh, that looks pretty good. And torpedo destroyers are good, sub destroyers. Attack submarines, that's the other one that we'd like to do. Uh, I don't know if we'll have enough experience to do it. I suppose we will find out here momentarily because I want to change up uh, the torpedoes. Oh, we already have the most recent torpedoes. Yeah, looks like we do. All right, excellent. Uh, we could, of course, change so that they can do have a little bit better detection uh, by giving them radar. But you know what? This is this is fine. This is a low-level submarine here. Uh, I, I want them to have good torpedo attacks, so we don't actually have to change this one. Up. That's excellent. Very good news. All right, so I want to say that we are done, which is good because we're kind of running low on experience. Yeah, there's not really anything else to, to do here. Uh, once again, I mean, we could change the battleships up. I don't think it's worth it, though, honestly. So let's go ahead and fix this. Um, Carriers, we didn't change those, didn't change battleships, did change the cruisers. Let's go ahead and get these guys building out like so. Didn't we build something new? Oh yeah, we did. All right, so we're gonna wanna change these up just a little bit. All right, so that was kind of a pain in the ass, but we did it, it's done, excellent. Um, and we also are lacking a little bit of chromium. Eh, this is not worth trading for, uh, not just one of them. And I'm sure we have ships that are currently done training um, so let's go ahead and get these guys pulled out. Oh, good God. Yeah, that's like all of them. All right, let's go ahead and <laughs> select them all. Uh, so these guys have been draining completely needlessly. I mean, I suppose it's really irrelevant, honestly, because uh, we have so much fuel and that's really what you need to be concerned about. I mean, we're full on fuel, so it's it's not that important. Uh, so let's go ahead and put these guys up here. Uh, it looks like we do have one carrier that we wanna go and pull out uh, and we're gonna go ahead and have these guys merge once again. Don't worry about it, guys. We will change these up in time. Uh, and let's go and change those guys up there. Excellent. And let me make sure these guys, yeah, they're set to automatically split off. All right, so that looks pretty good. Uh, you can see that we can already upgrade the ships. Maybe we want to go ahead and do that now. In fact, use our dockyards for this, uh, upgrading some ships. Uh, so we have the Ranger class. We can change this up to the Yorktown class uh, if we wanted to. Um, I don't always know if it's worth it because it, it takes so long to change up the carriers. I kind of feel like it's not uh, changing, worth changing up the capital ships. Uh, you just use them for different jobs, uh, I think. Now the other ships, definitely worth it. They're so easy to do. Yeah, it looks like we actually, I looked across all the fleets and there's not any that we can refit or any of the new ones anyway. So I don't need to be worried about that. Uh, so fourth international, excellent. So I, I don't think 
um, that we're going to, and the Hungarians announced the Treaty of Triana, Trianon, Trianon, Trianon. <laughs> oh my god, that was terrible pronunciation, I apologize, uh, that was bad, like really bad, even for me, um, so we can go in and get something here, we could also get our guy here, but I, I want to do the 250 ones because they're so much better, uh, so we'd probably want to go with the, we could go with Bradley for the superior firepower bonus, but Army experience is not as important as some of the other experiences, uh, in my opinion. Uh, I don't seem to need them as much outside of the early game. Uh, even for tanks, you know, it's and it's so easy to get. So I'd like to go with either air or navy. Typically, I always go air, but now with the navies being so different, it almost feels like we should go for the naval one. Um, yeah, but once again, don't have 250 political power because I want the better one. So we're not going for that. Uh, so our choices are either the plain one, which... Isn't all that beneficial because we're not doing any more planes in a little while. Uh, or uh, we could do, uh, you know what? We know we don't have it at 15% yet. Are we at least close to getting that? Oh, we are. Let's save it, guys. Yeah, we're definitely going to want to save that uh, so that we can go ahead and change. Finally. Finally. All right. So, yeah, I went ahead and also got, you know, all of the, the ships that were done. Uh, well, they made me a liar. I did have all the ships that were done. Let's go and put these guys. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put them on the other side this time. We're going to let them have an updated ship. You are welcome. Uh, so, yeah, once we get that national focus done, uh, that'll allow us to finally change out of isolation. Uh, so, that's excellent. Um, her. No, wait a minute. I'm a liar. We need to do the guarantee the American dream. Oof. I am a liar, guys. All right. So, we do want to go ahead and get something here, which I imagine we should get the industrial concern then. Let's do. You know what? Uh, let's do the electronics one. Well, there's a lot of text there, important text there, especially now that they've added a few more texts in there. Uh, so yeah, we'll get that. Uh, you know, I, I typically always go in, in the industry one, but obviously that is not an option to us in this playthrough. Uh, we did get the delay. Good God, it took forever. Um, I, I guess we can go and continue on and get the the mobile defense. Uh, but yeah, these are these are taking some time, guys. Uh, yeah, we'll knock out another one though. At least get to that point. We got decryption too. Fantastic. Uh, let's go ahead and do, not close close to 1939, do any 1939 text just yet. Uh, so let us wait. And we can keep on knocking out those naval texts, make our Navy ridiculously powerful. I, I feel like we should, uh, because this is definitely going to be the focus of the campaign, is the navies. And we're going to be fighting some powerful navies, guys, uh, with the Japanese, the British, and the Germans might build their fleet up too. Kaiserreich Germany typically does. Uh, so let's do, I think we're gonna do the that one. What's this one? Just better mine damage? Yep, uh, torpedo damage would be super useful too, honestly. Um, you know what, let's do, we'll do this one first, then maybe we'll do tor torpedoes next. Uh, and we're still trying to get these those uh, ships finished up. Uh, Italian diplomatic isolation, all right. So, wait, I should have read that one. I don't recall seeing that one before. All right, so, return to the Kaiser. They're about to do it. Kaiser's coming back to Germany, and then they're working on an alliance with Germany, which makes perfect sense, obviously, and that's exactly what we wanted them to do. Uh, and they'll complete that right after the Kaiser returns. What are the chances? All right, I'm just kind of seeing what everybody's working on right now. Additional research slot here in Poland. Uh, there we go. We got the bracket shooting. Can't seem to close it, though. Will not allow it. And I think that one is right there. Uh-huh. We can go ahead and continue getting the heavy attack and light attack, but I am doing torpedoes next. So let's get that knocked out. Getting close to 1939, but not quite there just yet. Uh, but I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here, guys. Government faction wins majority in Congress. It appears that the reforms of the electoral system we initiated have been most successful, as a large number of our supporters were elected to Congress in the last election. With a solid majority, we should have little trouble pushing through our political agenda. Uh, so, what were we currently at? 283 to 60. Alright, so yeah, it made us even more powerful. Good. Yeah, we don't really have any problems with that uh, due to that reform. We do need a lot of chromium. We should probably build that. We should probably trade for that, guys. Uh, so let's trade for some chromium. And uh, we did knock out the separate fire mains. Okay. Uh, so that was right here. That's pretty good overall. And, yeah, we, we are really knocking these out. I suppose we could go for the last one. Um, yeah, I guess that's... Or, 
we can go for the, you know let's go let's go for that one i like that one better uh, eventually we'll be doing mines but that's going to be something in the future uh so not too worried about it just yet Italy abandons the naval treaty. Oh, no. Benito Mussolini today announced that Italy would no longer consider herself bound by the naval treaties she had signed. The world situation, he said, had made the choice inevitable. Italy has apparently received reliable reports that several neighboring countries have begun aggressive naval expansion programs that threaten legitimate Italian interest in the area. The Italian Admiralty has refused to comment on rumors that several ships currently under construction were already planned without treaty restrictions in mind. We should review our own participation in the treaty. So that, of course... Um, and Wilhelm II has returned to the German Empire. Awesome. Uh, we can deploy our unit as well, so we'll go ahead and do that. We need to set him for a state, of course. Uh, let's deploy him on the West Coast. In San Fran, all of our troops are in San Francisco. So let's go ahead and deploy those 10 units that we built. Uh, we're going to go and get them training as well. And that's all we're going to do for right now, guys. Oh, wait, we got a shit ton of manpower, though. Once again, though, I don't know what's going to happen in the Civil War. The question is, are we going to have a Civil War? I'd hate to not be building it all, and, you know, not build building any troops up, and then we don't have a Civil War. I don't know, guys. This is the end of the episode, so instead of me building some troops, let me just ask you guys. What do you think? Do you think we should risk it? Uh, risk the fact that the Civil War happens, they delete all of our divisions and give us new ones, and, and then we just wasted that manpower. Uh, because your manpower has not changed. Uh, so... Any manpower you throw away on building divisions when you're Germany or Spain, uh, you just lose it uh, because those divisions go away and you don't get the manpower back. Should we risk that happening when the civil, if the Civil War happens? Or should we not risk it and say, let's see what happens with the Civil War. We can build divisions later. Nobody's going to attack us with our massive ass navy. Come on, come on. We have 271 ships, guys. Uh, just taking a look at the rest of the world. Look at that. We've got way more ships than Japan. Of course, we do have to have a two ocean navy. Uh, way more ships than the British. Well, maybe not way more. Yeah, they actually might be comparable to us. The Germans have like barely any ships because of the Civil War. Civil War did that. That's where all their ships went, guys. A damn Civil War. Uh, France is, yeah fraction of the ships once again not many ships here either uh can we how do we deal with the naval the escalation clause with the naval treaty treaty here uh oh okay it evokes right here escalator clause he evoked and so this will allow us to build uh larger ships the heavy ships go up by 2,000 carriers up by a thousand and cruisers up by 700 and that replaces it in 361 days uh we can't yet we withdraw from it um not entirely sure why we can't oh we don't have 150 political power that's why all right, that makes perfect sense. You also can see that we have more capital ship strength than Britain, the strongest navy in the world, guys, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, we can't do that because we don't have 150 pillar power. But, yeah, we could just completely withdraw from it. Um, what would that happen? It doesn't look like there would be any effect of that because somebody already did it. Um, so we might want to go ahead and do it just so we don't have any restrictions on the ship that we build that the ships that we build uh we we've been pretty stacked on political power um you know we've been knocking all these out maybe we should go ahead and withdraw i don't know that's another thing you can put down in the comments should we withdraw from the naval treaty or should we just wait for the escalator clause i mean by the time we get it though yeah we would have wanted to have withdrawn by then yeah I don't know. It's up to you guys. Um, I, I could go either way. Obviously, political power we could be using for other stuff, too. So that's the first thing that I'm asking you guys in the comments below. And then the second thing is, should we build more units? Uh, should we do it and risk it, guys? I don't know. We might actually avoid a civil war. It's not impossible uh, that that might happen. Uh, we almost got the guarantee of the American dream. Once we get that, that gives us 10% war support. And then I can finally... Oh, good God, I didn't expect this to take this long when I decided to do this. Uh, we can finally change over to early mobilization. Uh, we will, will not be quite up there enough to get the partial, unfortunately. Um, but, but, yeah, I think we'll, well, at the very least, we'll be changing over to early mobilization, and then we'll start building tons of military factories. In fact, when we done, we're done with these, I'm going to start building tons of military factories anyways, uh, because it's time. We need military factories. Uh, we are way behind on that. There, yeah, no civil war this time. I'm shocked to say, but no civil war. But next episode, guys, I, the wars are going to easily, are definitely going to start breaking out. Uh, so uh, once world tension raises, we'll have more opportunities open to us. Obviously, communism is getting more powerful in our country, uh, and we're getting there, guys. And we have a very large navy. And this is the reason why I'm doing that Japanese playthrough is just because the American one is kind of slow. It's a slow start, guys. So I want to make sure that we had one where we had a bit of conflict. Uh, and yeah, we have a friendly communist neighbor too. 
It's another development that's happened recently. But yeah, I hope that you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. As I said, uh, you know, there's two questions. I'd love to hear from you guys. I want to hear your, your opinions. Make sure you post that down in the comments below. I uh, hope you are watching that Japanese series, and I'd love to see you in the comments of that one as well, uh, because once again, that's it's just a fun little series. So uh, if you're not, I, I think I linked it on the back of the might be on the back of the last video, I think, episode two. Uh, might be on the back of that one, so on the end cards. Go check that out. Hope to see you on the next episode, and thanks for watching, guys.